Hi guys! This week I want to talk to you about comfort reads. So we all have books that we return to when we're not feeling very well or we're stressed or we're depressed. Um, books that we know and love, books that we know what's going to happen, they just offer some sort of chicken soupness for us. Um, I have lots of different comfort reads according to what I'm feeling, how I'm not feeling, etc. Um, things like Harry Potter, um, the Scorpio Races, The Night Circus, um, any Regency romances, my love of Regency romance has been well documented on this channel, um, but the books that I return to most often and that I've been rereading over the last few days because I've been feeling really stressed and depressed and not great um, are The Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce. I first discovered these books when I was 11 and trying to read my way through the entirety of the high school library because what else are you supposed to do in high school? Um, I actually didn't start with the first book, I started with the second book because I was impatient and someone else had the first book out, so I was a little bit confused but still really enjoyed it. Um, and these books ended up being um, one of my favourites to this day. I mean, I read them for the first time 16 years ago or something and I still love them, I still come back to them, I still take something new away every time I read them. Um, and because they were first published in the 1980s, I know that a lot of people may have missed these books, which is really sad, so I want to spend a few minutes cheerleading them and explain why I love them so much and why I keep rereading them. Um, they are about a girl. Um, when we first meet her she is 10 and she's called Alana, she has a twin brother. Um, the books actually take place over a number of years, so we first meet her when she's 10 but we, we stay with her till she's sort of 20, 21, so we really get a good breadth of her, her, her growing up formative years, which is really good to see. Um, so she's 10 when we first meet her and she's about to be shipped off to the convent to learn how to be a proper girl and embroider things and, you know, boring things, learning how to be a wife. Um, and she doesn't want to do this, and her brother doesn't want to go to the palace and learn how to be a knight, so they decide in their infinite ten-year-old wisdom that they're going to swap places. Her brother will go as a boy to the convent to learn how to be a magician, and she will disguise herself as a boy and go to the palace to learn how to be a knight, because why should being a girl stop you doing things that you want to do? Um, and it's brilliant. So she goes off and she learns how to be a knight and she makes friends and goes on all sorts of adventures and it's incredible and I love these books because Tamora Pierce has done something wonderful with these. You not only get a girl who is refusing to conform to stereotypes and be put in a box and told what she can and can't do, you're also getting um, a very independent girl who is allowed to grow over the course of the books. I mean we see Alana grow and develop and, and, and mature over the course of about 10 years and it's really wonderful that she isn't sort of put in, in one character form and mould and sort of left there for the decade. She's allowed to mature, she's allowed to develop, she's allowed to fall in love with different people and not be slut shamed, which is miraculous! Um, and I really love how how her character progresses. I love how she tackles all the problems with um, puberty and maturing and just generally having to deal with being a girl around guys because Jesus it hard sometimes. Um, and also it has fantasy and magic and all the other fun things that I love. Um, and it's got a really incredible world. Um, Tamora Pierce really does world building really, really well. Um, and it's just, yeah, combination of really good things. So if you enjoy fantasy books, if you enjoy magic, if you enjoy really well-developed world building, if you like a whole range of amazing characters, I mean George in here is to this day one of my favourite fictional people, um, and also if you enjoy really strong female characters who aren't put in a box, who aren't made to conform to society's ideals, um, who are allowed to mature and develop, you need to pick these books off, up because they're just incredible. I love them as much, if not more, now than I did um, when I first read them when I was 11, so I cannot recommend these books enough. Um, start with the first one, please, um, because you can start with the second one, as I did, but it, it just makes more sense to start with the first one. Um, so the first book is called The First Adventure. They um, have been published with numerous different covers by this point, some of them are interesting, some of them are really lovely. Um, and I would love to know, either if you've read these books already and are a huge fan of Tamora Pierce and Alana, um, or if you decide to pick them up based on this video, let me know what you think, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, so. Here are my chicken soup reads, I'm going to keep going through them and rereading them. Um, also let me know your chicken soup reads, because I'm always on the lookout for more chicken soupy things, and I'm interested what people turn to when they're not feeling great. Um, so yeah, have a great weekend, and I will see you guys next Friday.